and smiling, learning, and making lifelong connections. They are the kinds of images you'd hope to see at any school. But this isn't a school. So KaiPod is a learning center for families who are looking for something a little different for their children. And I want to provide the structure for that. Amar Kumar is the founder of KaiPod, an alternative to homeschooling where students combine the flexibility of digital learning with in-person support and socialization. The company currently supports 250 students and 19 learning groups or pods across the country. But it all started right here in Newton. I've spent more than 15 years in education and coming out of the pandemic, I knew that a lot of kids actually thrived when they could learn at their own pace. So the idea that I had was, if you could find a way to create supports for those kids. Are the kids on screens all day? Absolutely not. Some of them may have a couple of hours of live online classes with online teachers, and then a few hours of independent work. The rest of that day is open for enrichments, for social time, for creative pursuits. Kennedy, a student here in Newton, is using her afternoon time to absolutely crush Halloween. I've been working on my 3D modeling mm -hmm. for my Halloween costume. Oh, well what are we going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be a dark angel. I am working on the wings right now, mm -hmm. and they're going to be collapsible so that they can come up and down. That is pretty cool, and it's pretty cool you get to do this at school, I would say. I love coming here. You do? Why do you love coming here? I'm very social. What do you do? usually have to select? I've never done this before. I get to come and do my academics in a safe space where I know failure is accepted. Yes, failure is accepted as a necessary byproduct of learning, but students are set up to succeed with the help of learning coach Kimberly Brown. We work with students grades 3 through 12. Some of them are here because they're advanced. Some of them are here because they're struggling with certain concepts. The best part is that I don't have to grade any papers. And I'm in more of that supporting role instead of standing in front of the classroom delivering a lesson. I really get to know the students. I get to know their families. I get to know what their goals are in the way that I wished I could as a public school teacher. Is this the future of education? Our students expect learning to be on demand and they expect it to move at their pace so when they're ready for the next topic they want it to be available but you're still surrounded by other kids that are your own age and so you can socialize you can take field trips and do all the things that we want our kids to do what would you call a group of teens who get together and build advanced robots for fun some would call them extremely gifted but at it switch high they're called team 5459 my name is James Jewell. I am one of co-captains for Team 5459. Basically every team, when they start out, gets a new number. We just happen to be team number 5459. That number assignment comes from FIRST Robotics, an international youth organization with a very high profile annual competition. They have teams on every continent except for Antarctica. The idea is to get students and adult mentors working together on engineering projects. It's basically just a large community trying to solve one problem in different ways. Every year, um, FIRST Robotics gives us a different challenge to do, and last year what we had to do was be able to pick up cones and carry them to different nodes across the playing field. Freshman Colette Love may make it sound easy, but when you are programming and assembling a robot from scratch, there can be some growing pains. We spend 15 to 20 hours a week for eight weeks together. This is our family. We don't see our actual families all that much during the season. It is a huge commitment, but one that can pay off big, like it did last year when the team won a spot in the FRC World Championship. Our blood, sweat, and tears come into this robot, and it's not a small endeavor. So to come to a competition and then be recognized, just a lot of emotion. As a senior, Jewel hopes to lead this team to another championship opportunity. But more than that, he wants to empower the next generation of creators. I really want to study mechanical or aerospace engineering after I graduate. It wasn't something I knew until I actually joined robotics because I just love it so much. Five, four, five, nine! 
And one area that Kaipot hasn't been able to recreate for its students are team sports. Yeah, but the founder, Armar Kumar, says that that is actually changing. More and more public schools are open to having outside students participate in these programs if they live in the community. Oh.